there's long been talk of trying to improve safety on the subway by adding barriers between passengers and the tracks. Many modern transit stations have protective barricades that prevent people from falling onto the tracks. And now the MTA trying to shave some of the dangerous open space on that platform with a test at one station. It's not perfect, but it's the first step. I was news reporter N.J. Burkett live in Lower Manhattan with what this story is all about. Newt. And no, Bill, it is not perfect. Sadly, there will always be those people who will jump out onto the tracks. This will not prevent that. It's intended to protect everyone else, that smaller percentage of people who slip, fall, or are pushed. For the people who use the 191st Street subway station, good fences make good riders. At least that's the idea. It gets crowded here in the morning, so maybe it's, it's for good. You never know who's behind you, so you got to be careful when you're out here. The transit authority is testing metal fences installed along the northbound and southbound platforms and painted bright yellow, intended to keep people from falling or being shoved onto the tracks. Transit Authority President Rich Davey. For those who unintentionally end up on the tracks, it's a trip, it's a fall, it's, you know, they might have had a, a good time last night and, uh, you know, it just lost their way. That's the goal is to keep as many folks off the tracks as possible. Every year, on average, more than 75 people die on the tracks, many because they jumped, others because they slipped, and still others who were pushed, like Michelle Goh, who was shoved to her death in 2022. The gates won't keep a determined person off the tracks, but if the concept works, the risks for everyone else could be reduced. Certainly there are more than four stations we can roll this out to uh, if in fact it's successful. The MTA is also experimenting with sliding doors like those on the JFK air train, but they are considered far too expensive and impractical for widespread use. Unlike the gates, which are low tech and low cost. Riders we spoke with say they might be worth the investment. I have two small daughters, so, you know, I'm always scared, you know, constantly. Like, when I come to the train, I'm constantly, you know, afraid somebody's going to just push them or something. I don't think it's going to do anything, and I'm curious as how much money they actually spent on this. Um, but I'll see. I'll give it a chance. And it is a pilot program, as I said, and plans are in the works to install similar fences at West 8th Street in Brooklyn, Clark Street in Brooklyn, and one other subway station yet to be named. And MTA officials are not ruling out the possibility that these fences could go into widespread use.